Hey everybody, it's your boy Tim Decker and today I'm gonna paint this skateboard deck. So let's get it. So, I left the garage door open and I went to check on my board and the board was covered in bugs. So, basically I sanded the board down and I did it again and I'm gonna forget that ever happened. Fast forward and we're gonna go start to paint. So let's forget it and let's move on. So let's go paint. So I'm gonna let that coat dry, and in the meantime, I'm actually gonna run to Michaels and get a couple things that I need. Um, I'm gonna get a couple Posca markers to give it that illustrative look, and I'm gonna get a nice varnish. Um, I think I actually need a spray-on varnish because the Posca markers smudge really easy, and so I don't wanna risk strokes and ruining it, so I'm gonna need to get, I think, a spray-on varnish, but the problem is I don't know what to get because I don't use spray-on varnish that much, and so, I'll see what I can find. And we're gonna learn together. Let's go. So this is what I got. A little bit of Liquitex matte varnish. I didn't want it to be shiny. And you have to be really careful with varnish because a lot of times it can be snowy, not really clear, and you can ruin what you're doing. So this had great reviews. I think it's gonna serve my purpose. I'm gonna test it first, but I'm ready to finish that board, make it look nice with this, hopefully. So let's go finish that board. Let's go. Day two. But before I start painting, I just wanna tell you something real quick. Um, I have a confession. So, I have all these epic skateboard photos, but I don't actually skate. Um, my board looks like this. My wheels are taped. Um, I have been absolutely obsessed with taking this board on every vacation with me for the last three years I brought it all over the world to get skateboard photos. And I don't even skate. I'm what the kids call a poser. I, I was just upset. It didn't even fit in the, in the suitcase half the time. I had to leave out things I needed so I could have this board, <laughs> even though I don't even skate. I got obsessed with me holding it and riding it. And I loved these photos that came from it. And I did nothing with the photos. They were like for my own personal collection of photos. I don't even know what that means. But I basically got obsessed with this. I got obsessed. I love the culture. I love everything about skateboarding, but I don't know how to do it. And I am going to, um, I'm gonna paint today though, but I wanted to tell you that. And uh, that's my confession. So I'm a poser, let's paint.
right, so I thought I was done, and then I realized the scales were way too heavy for my liking. So I started to lightly clean them up, and the Posca was smearing everywhere. And so the outcome is, I already like it better. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to make this still look like the rest of the board and match the rest, while giving it a little more detail. So I think we're on the right track. My first board ever, I really like it. I would ride it if I knew how, and I'm definitely gonna bring it on vacation in the future. So after a few final touch-ups, I'm finally done. And now, the fun part. It's day three, and today we varnish. I did a test sample earlier, so let's see. Okay, it's beautiful. We're gonna do this for real. Let's go. All right, that's it. Three coats of varnish later, those strokes are sealed forever. So let's not wait, let's cue up those final shots and let's see it. So that's it. I really hope you liked it. Give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, bye.